Hi, my name is Simon Zeichner. I'm a second year internal medicine resident at Mount Sinai Medical Center in Miami Beach, Florida. I'm the first author on the upcoming paper, a de novo germline APC mutation 3927 deletion 5 in a patient with familial adenopolyposis, a case report and literature review. Characterized by the development of hundreds of thousands of colonic adenomas, classical familial adenopolyposis is one of the most common hereditary syndromes associated with the increased risk of colorectal cancer. Several studies have attempted to correlate APC mutations with clinical phenotype. However, there is considerable variability in the expression of specific clinical specific phenotypes within families and among individuals with identical mutations. In our case report, we reported a 30-year-old Hispanic female presenting to the ER with a two-week history of persistent worsening left lower quadrant pain. She had no family history of malignancy. Sigmoidoscopy revealed innumerable polyps in the rectum and sigmoid colon and a large mass in the sigmoid colon. Biopsy of the mass revealed a moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma invading the subserosa. Endoscopy revealed innumerable polyps. Genetic testing via DNA sequencing revealed a germline APC mutation 3927 deletion 5 resulting in a premature truncation of the APC protein at amino acid position 1312. Genetic information is only recently being incorporated into clinical care. More research and randomized clinical trials need to be conducted to definitively characterize random mutations. Once these mutations are further characterized, FAP patients may be able to be risk stratified and this may ultimately improve the screening, diagnosis, and treatment of this rare condition. In this paper, I also discuss mismatch repair genes, APC gene mutation, and generally speaking, the clinical presentation of FAP, the differential diagnosis of FAP, and screening and treatment of this rare condition. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed the paper.